This is Echo 3, and let's discuss variable swept wings. Due to the simplified aerodynamics in the stock game, there usually is not any practical purpose for being able to do this. However, being practical is not required when making things in Kerbal Space Program. This plane is my attempt at making an F-111 aardvark. It was one of the first military aircraft to use variable swept wings, or swing wings. Probably the most famous aircraft to use this feature is the iconic F-14 Tomcat. Over the years, I've seen many players attempt to recreate the F-14 in the game, and some of them look really good. If you'd like to try your hand at a plane like this, we shall go over how to make a basic design. Our tutorial aircraft is going to be a much simpler design than the one in the introduction, as it will be primarily focused on the movable wings. This will use a Mark II style aircraft, because it is easier to clip parts inside than it is with the Mark I style. Only the center fuel tank will actually have fuel in it. All others will be drained. One shock cone will be enough for our two Panther engines. The Panther engines are particularly fun because this aircraft will have afterburners and a high amount of gimbal. Combined with the variable swept wings, we can create a very maneuverable stunt aircraft. Rather than using hinges, I'm using a couple servos to put the wings on. I think that to create a more stable attachment point and reduce the floppiness of the wings. Next, we'll put on the rest of the control surfaces, ailerons, elevators, and rudders. Each control surface is set to only control one axis, roll, pitch, and yaw. I'm going to put two rudders on this aircraft. While one rudder can work fine, I'm going to use two, and when we set up the action groups, I'll show you exactly why I do that. After we place the control surfaces, we're going to go over and work with the servos. I set the servos so that they have limited movement about 20 degrees forward and backward from its current position. The amount of movement can also be set with the Cal 1000. This, however, I think creates a hard limit for the wing's rotation and should keep them more stable during flight. After we set up the servo here, we will set up the Cal 1000. You don't need a Cal 1000 for this to work. You can just bind the servos directly to an action group like translate forward backward but with the Cal 1000 we can have the movement be a little bit more smooth as you can you can set up exactly how fast and slowly they move through the whole thing now when these wings move as we rotate them forward and backward what you can notice then is how the center of aerodynamic pressure moves forward and backward this is going to change how the aircraft uh, handles during flight and that can be kind of fun. We can use that to our advantage to set how stable or how maneuverable this aircraft is. This will let us set up more of a stunt aircraft and we can have a lot of fun as we mess around with this. We can add a few small pieces here to the fuselage just for aesthetic reasons. Uh, it'll change the center of lift here a little bit on the aircraft not much I think it just looks a little better as we try to make the plane look nice for the action groups I'm gonna set up the Cal 1000 and bind it to translate forward backward so I will use that to move the wings this will let me set wherever I want them not just a hard forward or backward so we can play around with exactly how we want the plane to handle It'll be kind of fun. I'm going to set action group zero to lock the servos. Uh, I found that locking the servos really help keeps the wings stable and a lot less floppy during flight. So if you're having trouble with your swing wings, bind your uh, servo to have a lock and then that should help. Lastly, I bind the rudder here to set up as an air brake so they will deploy when I hit the brake and I bind RCS to activate the afterburners make it a little easier and kind of fun lastly we can use the advanced tweakables and set things to auto strut now I can't auto strut the wing to the aircraft otherwise it won't move but we can auto strut most of the parts around you can see I'm using a tricycle design here on the aircraft for the landing gear. Nothing too special on that. You can 
check out one of my other aircraft tutorials if you want to learn more on that kind of stuff. And I do use the um, feature to uh, use rigid attachment and that helps keep the wings from being a little less floppy. I rigidly attach the wings and the servos. Alright, looks like we're set up here. Oh, one last thing to note. I set the dampening on the servos to zero. Any dampening seems to really cause problems. All right, with the wings forward, the aircraft becomes more maneuverable and it should uh, take off easier. And we can turn the air afterburners on and put the wings back for fast and stable plane. By pulling up and moving the wings forward and stalling, we can cause the aircraft to become very unstable and fall kind of like a leaf. But with a small adjustment to the wings, and lighting the afterburners, we can safely recover this aircraft. Overall, this simple design is quite fun to use and seems easy to get the hang of. Well, thanks for joining me to discuss swing wings.